this is the uh, live screen, uh, which basically gives you access to all the 300 presets of the touch, as well as the uh, 10,000 possible presets from the library. Um, so when it's when it's on the screen, you've got your delay, your reverb, your double, your modular effects, harmony, and so on. Um, it's designed for touch screen. So if you imagine my mouse and my finger, if I wanted to decrease that, hold that down. I wanted to decrease that, hold that down. Uh, increase that, hold that down. Uh, you get the idea. Yeah. Uh, to turn them on. You just uh, single click them. You can adjust that in the configuration so that it's a double click. I leave it on single click uh, just for ease of use because I'll be using a mouse here, not my finger. Um, and you can also turn your voices on there as well. Um, I've gone down these uh, presets here. So that's my 300. So the uh, touches. And then you've got your um, library ones which start at a thousand I got these ones starting at a thousand um, so you could, you could if you want to one you could just double click it there that suddenly goes a little red there to tell you not to sing whilst it's red because what it's doing is sending to touch the complete preset information for that library item so basically don't sing while it's red so there for a, possibly a tenth or two tenths of a second so it's not there for long um, so the one on, well, my now Abba, Abba Mia one at the top here. Uh, American horse, yeah, already eagle. So that gives you the idea uh, of the the presets there. So you got them all, loads of them in there. Um, now that could be very awkward to navigate on a on a live set list. So if you go to edit set list, double click, get, that's all your presets uh, in the library and on the touch, um, and then you can. Like I'm, I've got using the set list called Rock and Roll, which I've told it in that set list is those presets. Yeah. Um, if I wanted a a blank one, I could then say click on that one, just highlight it, and then double click it in there, and I might want it again there, right? Uh, and I wanted Deep Duct FX, whatever that is, shove that in there. And I'll turn it one. I want that in there. So I think you get the idea. Quite easy to build up your list, and you can have you know you can use them over and over again. Uh, if I give it a name, te oops, test. I'm not very good at typing these days. Yeah, and I want that to go there. Yeah. So now that test preset, a uh, test set list has got those presets in it. Rock and roll has got that in it. And I got one called default, which has got that in it. Yeah. Now, if I wanted to use, I use the rock and roll one just as I was on that one. Now, if I just click rock and roll, go back here. It's not changed this yet. It'll only change that now when I change when I click show play playlist rock and roll. The idea behind that is that you could queue up uh, another set list halfway through your your existing set list, very like second half, and then when you're ready click and then your set list to go in there so if I click it now that's all the ones from my uh, rock and roll one yeah so if I start that one all in all it's just uh, another brick in the wall yeah um, you can then click the next one Elvis Radio double reflect beep up loop up yeah six on court so you got the idea you give love a bad name, shot through the heart. Yeah, you got the idea. Um, if you need to go back to the whole library, click that one, and that displays the whole library. Now, this uh, magnifying glass here, you can s filter, right? There's lots of ways of getting that stuff. So you can filter uh, what you're looking for, and it's telling me that there's already a filter on. Uh, the filter is rock. So it's looking for ones, displaying ones that have just got the word rock in it, like rocket, rocket man, rocky, rocky, rock and rock and roll, rockabilly, so on. Um, if I to remove that, then it'll display them all. Um, now there is a little, another way of doing it. If I go back to rock, like so, so it's just displaying rock. If I click, uh, double click show library, it'll display them all. 
single click it and it puts the filter back in yeah so there's lots of ways to get in at uh, presets and you can then go back to your uh, set list as well um, you've got talk button that puts you in talk mode so all the effects are off basically and then we're back into the normal effect mode mute everything now when I'm gonna click it now and everything will go quiet I'm shouting shout blah 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 that's coming through yeah so everything in that gets muted yeah um, now you've got some other little trinkets at the top here uh, you've got a thing called snapshot now what that allows you to do is to take instant image of what um, you know, what you've tweaked a preset for um, so if you was messing around with the preset on stage oh the hell that's a damn good preset if I click a snap double click snapshot it goes quick green to tell you that it's saved it um, and then say weeks time think oh that was a good um, modification to a preset so you, you can then double click that go back to the date like today has got that one there Bon Jovi but I can go back to say Thursday August the 1st and it lists then obviously this is when I was playing around with it a lot as you can see it lists then the name of the preset that I took a snapshot of and the time that I took it um, so I can go to that one over there make a bit more sense uh, Saturday the uh, 3rd of August uh, you've got ACDC shook at 2.01 a.m. so I think hey, I like the sound of that one so I can click it and again then I get that preset back in so as I can get that preset back in and these have all got mod slight modifications to them yeah so it's a very very good way of if you like it on a particular venue you just instantly save it and then you can recall it yeah so I'm just going to go back to uh, I don't know. Yeah. Right, well, just turn off effects so we get a bit of a delay um, so that's the snapshot you, you obviously find some really good uses for that now this has also got a thing called hit now if you're not sure if you've not heard of that before what it allows you to do is if I click it you can have six different or additional settings so at the moment on when you load the preset in uh, you've got delay and FX, yeah, because it's got that normally. Um, but you could say, right, I want a different setting for this. I want delay and reverb. Oh, sorry, I've got to double click it first. On hit one, I want to have delay and reverb. Now yeah, you can hear it coming in. On hit two, I want to have delay, reverb, and delay reverb I don't want any effects I'll have a bit of hard tune yeah and also have some harmony you can hear it coming in and a bit quiet so you get the idea so you can have up to six of these uh, so I'll go back to that um, and this can stay on the screen then so you could say right you could start singing the song blah blah blah, blah. Uh, so it's standard mode you've got blah, blah, blah. Ah, then you go hit one which is uh, delay reverb delay reverb Three. So you can quickly switch effects on and off like that. So you can't change the parameters of the effect, but you can turn them on and off. Yeah. So at certain parts of the song, you might want the double coming on. Other parts you don't want the double coming on, but you want the FX on uh, and so on. Um, so you can set them up so that it comes in. You just click them. Um, now this is version of the editor's got a thing called external controller, so you could I can. Hit one comes on. Another button. Hit two. Now that obviously you can see the mouse. I'll move the mouse out of the way. So the mouse isn't moving. Um, but I can then. As I'm just hit the button on the floor. Go between effects. Yeah. So if you've got a foot controller, you can really have a good play with that. Yeah. Um, now these uh, buttons here. If you want to put them, turn them to faders, you can go into the configuration of the editor and then convert these to faders. So these become deactivated, and then the mouse, hold the mouse button down and move them up and down like normal faders. Um, so you've got plenty of ways of doing it. Um, a preset can also, you can in the library you can give a preset some notes. I don't know if I've got any, because that would be typical. If I have it, it would be on like 1000, so I'll have a look. 
the idea that I've explained is that you can attach little notes to a to a, a library preset. Whoops, got past it. Just anywhere. Don't even know if there's anything there. No, typical. Um, but you. Oh God, typical again. Horrible. Uh, you know, you could put specific notes there with for that particular preset. You know, things like uh, uh, detune your guitar or make sure so and so is pressed down. You know, anything you like in there, because um, you can rename these presets to whatever you like. You know, you could call that one um, what you know, name name of a song or, or something like. That. You don't stick by these because you've got like ten thousand library ones to choose from. You can move them around the library, give them a proper name of the song. Uh, it's far more easy then to create a set of lists, set list, set lists. Uh, go, give myself a stutter on my yeses. Um, right, there's another little good little um, uh, facility here. It's, uh, it's acoustics. Now, what that allows you to do, obviously, when you're setting pieces up, they sound really, really good in your in your headset and whatever. But when you get to a live live gig, um, you get the problems of uh, the room resonance or the room reverberates or, or whatever like that, you know, and it will affect your presets. Um, so what you can do, you go to acoustics and then you can adjust the, say, the delay level, um, the reverb level. You see it's adjusting these here, right? Um, so you get them so they sound, so you, what the idea is, you, you pick out a preset which has got most effects that you use, um, in other words, ones that's going to cause a problem, and then you adjust it here so that that preset sounds good, right? So it might be something like that, as an example. Yeah, so the, uh, uh, that's the, that sounded right now on the worst possible preset. Then whenever you load a preset in, it automatically applies those percentages to the preset. So you haven't got to adjust them. It's going to automatically adjust them. Yeah, hope that makes sense. Um, I can also navigate, go next with my foot button as well just so you, so you can see how easy things can happen if you want them to be um, yeah so the acoustic thing is uh, um, a very very good for just a fine tuning it for your, for your, for your venue uh, what else can we do in the live stream um, that covers the basics of it there's obviously it, there's more in there uh, uh, you know you can you can rename a preset in there call it what you like yeah, uh, you can delete that lot. You can delete. You can delete one from here. I could delete. Uh, go back to my test one. Go to alternative. Delete that. Are you sure? Yes. And it's taken it out, so it's left me a gap. Um, if I want to shove everything up, delete again, and it'll move it up. Uh, the reason it doesn't automatically uh, move it up is because you might want to move something in there. Yeah. Uh, so I think you can get the idea of that one. Uh, so double click that one. Get me back. Um, uh, and that covers oh if I wanted to call us a preset up off the touch itself now I could then click on this one and the ones that you bond you could love by name click that now that's loaded that one straight in off the touch without doing anything on this one it's not changed anything here either it's just loaded it told the touch no I want that thing loaded up now so it's like a quick bypass to get to a preset if you happen to know it um or we can go back to another brick in the wall okay lockdown all in all, it's just a. That sounds a bit funny, and that's purely because I've got the all these things turned down. <laughs> so I put them back up so they sound as they should normally sound. You see things all adjusted. Yeah, uh, and that covers uh, the live screen. Very very handy um, for live views, obviously. Um, or you can use it for anything you like, but it's really aimed at live views. Uh, so enjoy that. <laughs>